Hi, my name is Joe, and this is a quick overview as to how you can create your own text-to-wave files. Now, often I find myself uh, having to read up on, on different subjects, and I drive a lot, so it would be useful if I had audiobooks of all that material, but what if they don't make it? Well, if I can get it in a text form, I can create my own. Here's a great website uh, put up by Eric Phelps. This is ericphelps.com. Now, some people mistakenly think this is Eric P. Helps. It's not. Eric doesn't like that. So uh, remember, it's ericphelps.com. And he has a nice little section on Windows scripting. And he puts up some code samples that are very helpful. The speech one here is my favorite. So we can scroll down here. And as you can see, we have text to wave. Uh, there's the URL down there at the bottom. And uh, if we look at it, this is just a standard uh, VB script. There's nothing special. There's no weird things being brought in. Uh, it's just utilizing what's already on your computer and automating it calling up those objects and uh, libraries and getting them to work. So here, I'll just go ahead and right click on this and say Save Target. So it goes to my Downloads folder. And it's a tiny little file. It's only six kilobytes in size, so it's great. Now this doesn't do anything unless we have a text file to go with it, so let's create one. We'll call our text file, hmm, we'll call it Test1 nothing special. Now, where can I get a, an appreciable amount of text in order to try this out? <laughs> well, H.P. Lovecraft is an interesting author whose copyrights expired a long time ago. So he's uh, great uh, for our test. The Mountains of Madness is one of his longer works. Uh, I mean, this is basically a little small novel. So here, I'll just grab all of this stuff and just go crazy. Yeah, the best test is a brutal test. Uh, if it can turn this into a sound file, that can be uh, listened to in the car, then it should be able to handle just about anything. So I'll just uh, edit and choose copy. So now that I've got all of that, I'll just paste it right into my text file. Now the text-to-speech editor doesn't care about the formatting, you know. Granted the text doesn't look pretty, it's, it's all over the place, uh, it, it looks like a bit of a mess. Um, tabs everywhere, carriage returns everywhere. Oh. The only thing that, that might not be such a great idea is these things. These would probably sound a little strange. You can get rid of them pretty easily. You can just go in here and uh, I'm guessing that there are no real need for dashes throughout this document, so here. I'll just say copy, uh, edit, replace. So find this, replace with nothing, replace all. Now they're all gone. That way you don't have, uh, you know, dash, 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 you know, when it's doing the uh, text-to-speech, that would sound funny. All right. Now, how does text-to-wave operate? Hmm, really complicated? Probably not. You, you just click and drag. So I've got my text file, and notice I highlight it onto text-to-wave and let it go. So here it's going to feed it to text-to-wave, and text-to-wave will begin uh, generating a WAV file. So as you can see, the WAV file shows zero kilobits. Um, that's because the, it's not finished yet. As soon as it is, the actual total will appear here. Now, since I gave it a uh, generous sized um, file here as a test, uh, the computer is going to be busy on this for a few minutes. So let's go ahead and we'll fast forward to the completion. And here we go. <laughs> It took a few minutes to uh, crunch out our document, but as you can see, the CPU cores are slowing down. So we now have a, a 22 megabyte WAV file, and the uh, computer crunched that completely from the uh, information that it was able to produce from the uh, text file. So here, let's take a look. I am forced into speech because men of science have refused to follow my advice without knowing why. It is altogether against my will that I tell my reasons for opposing this contemplated in and there you have it. You can take any text file, and you can create any text file you want simply by copying and pasting things right out of your web browser if you don't have a, a formal text file and feed it to this thing. So any plain vanilla ASCII will, will do the trick. Uh, as long as you stay away from weird characters, you should be able to uh, create files very easily. Enjoy.